first open a drawing, the first thing that you're going to want to do is save the drawing. So we're going to go to File, Pull Down, and select Save As. And where you're going to save yours, you want to save yours in the F drive, whatever your login. In this case, I'm going to save it on the desktop because I'm going to delete it later, but it would just be whatever file you call it, and I'm going to save it. That way I would have a backup, so it will constantly save the file to that location as you're working it. Next thing you'd want to know do is down in the command line, you know, all you have to do is type, you don't have to select there. As I start typing, then it's going to put the file in the command down there. So I'm going to change the units to architectural. I have an architectural and it gives me a sample output. Into what I'm going to do, I do not change the insertion scale. And I'm hit OK. Once I've saved my file and I've set the units, I want to turn off my dynamic mode. If I go down here, I can move along here and I can see which one of these each of these is. And this one here is dynamic mode. If I put a plus in the F12 is the shortcut. And all I have to do is hit F12. It turns the dynamic mode off or on. In this case, I can see that it's on right now, but F12 will turn it off. That way, I don't get any funky stuff. I know that it's on if I start typing a command and it has it up here in the window, then I know my dynamic mode is on and I don't want that. Uh, if I type the line command, then it gives me, you can see there are information on the screen, and that messes up my inputs. When I'm doing different type of coding inputs, so I don't want the command line to display up there, and I don't want the dynamic mode turned on. So I can escape out of that and make sure that it's off. So now I'm ready to start my drawing.